Welcome everyone to Fergo and the Freak. This is episode 218 and we have some breaking news right now. Paul McGregor has been sacked by the St. George Illawarra Dragons. The club will be taken over by assistant coach Dean Young. It's very, very strange timing. Um, coming into the round, there was a lot of talk that he would be sacked in a board meeting that was going to occur on Tuesday. But to be sacked one day out from their game, they play Friday night. It's just very, very weird timing. And, and yeah, it was. Uh, there's been plenty of opportunity to sack Paul McGregor. And to do it now, I don't really understand it. But it is probably long overdue. He's only got a 48% winning percentage in 150 matches coaching the Dragons. Um, he took over the Dragons in 2014. They've had some lean years. They've played some really, really poor football. Uh, at the beginning of last year, they started off pretty well in the NRL. And the club extended his contract and the team immediately tanked after that. There was a little bit of talk over the last week that he'd kind of lost the players finally. And it seems like that was just the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, really, really weird timing. Uh, uh, you know, I know Dragons fans will be overjoyed at this. Uh, we'll see how Dean Young goes for the rest of the year. Obviously, they've got Shane Flanagan there as an assistant coach, and you would guess that long-term they probably want him to take that job. But he is not allowed to take that role at the moment because of the, I don't know what you'd call it, the ban or, or the restrictions that have been put on in place on him by the NRL. Um, look, the writing was on the wall for McGregor for a very, very long time. The Dragons' performances were getting worse uh, the way the team played was very simplistic. And I think the thing that really hurt McGregor was the fact that the team had a lot of talent in it. You know, this is a team that had a, a lot of internationals and origin players in their lineup. And at some point, you know, somebody had to pay for that. And it's been McGregor in this case. It'll be interesting to see um, because the, the feeling was that the Dragons held on to him because they couldn't afford to like pay him out. And they're going to have to pay him out after sacking him. But they must have just done the sums and said, look, it, it, we can't hold on to him any longer and got rid of him. It'll be interesting to see if they give the role to Young until Flanagan can is allowed to take over. If Young decides to become a first-grade coach from here and, and, and does well with them, uh, the other interesting thing will be if they look for other coaches elsewhere. My guess is that if they could do this over again and they knew they were going to sack McGregor now, they probably would have chased Trent Barrett because for some weird reason, the Dragons like to get former players to coach their team. They think that it's, it's one of those Dragons things, you know. Um, but yeah, so that's big news. We thought we'd do a breaking news episode about that. Um, McGregor gone. It's going to be interesting to see how the team reacts to it as well. Uh, they play, let's have a look at who they play. Um, they are playing the Eels. Oh, tomorrow night, 8 p.m., Friday night, 8 p.m. They're either going to respond or the Eels are going to trounce them. Like, I guess it depends if the players feel as though. There's a change come to the club. They maybe want to prove themselves, which they should be doing every week. But, you know, they're human beings. Um, you know, the other way that could go is that the Dragons come into this game. Uh, they, they, they're they like, OK, so Dean Young's our coach. All right. Uh, the board made this decision 24 hours out from the game. This is all a bit of a shambles. It wouldn't take much to really unfortunately break the Dragons and I think any team in this situation especially coming up against a good team like Parramatta so if the Eels get off to a good start on Friday night you know anything could happen in that game but yeah it'll be interesting to see the reaction of Dragons fans I know they've been pushing for uh, McGregor to go for a very long time now and I don't think that is unwarranted I think that the results really said that McGregor should have gone at least 
a year and a half ago. Um, cause they've been terrible. Dragons have been absolutely terrible. Anyway, v- out of the blue, completely out of the blue, we know that we've put out three podcasts very quickly back to back to back. So, um, but yeah, we had to do a breaking news one for this one because Dragons fans are going to be overjoyed, let's face it. So thank you for having a listen. If you want to get anything to do with me or Andrew from Fergo and the Freak, go to com and of course, visit our sponsor, manscaped.com. Go to manscaped.com and if you put in our exclusive code for our listeners, which is NRL, we've done a deal where you get 20% off and free shipping. So go there, you know, Father's Day's around the corner. It's starting to get towards Christmas. You can pick something up and it's there's they're great products. Go for the uh, Perfect Package 3.0. It's absolutely incredible. So thank you for listening. Uh, we will be back with you very soon. Paul McGregor gone. Dragons fans can rejoice. And we'll see if it actually makes a difference. Thanks for listening. <laughs>